What up, y'all? It's your boy, the life of Ryan Marchetti, aka Moto Ryan 93, aka Ryan. And I'm back with another video, man. It's been a very long time since I've been on here, since I've been on behind the camera, since I've been vlogging, really. Honestly, the biggest reason why I really haven't been on here is just, man, work's just been, just been crazy. Um, especially with all this COVID going on, you know, I would think that it would be a lot easier to do videos and stuff, but man, really, it's just hard working every day. And then the weekend, man, I just really just be wanting to chill. But I'm just making up excuses. I'm sure you guys see the title. I'm sure you guys see the thumbnail. I'm sure you guys are like, whoa, when did you get a bike? And yes, throughout the time of my last video now, your boy did get a motorcycle. And this wasn't really one of the videos that I wanted to do. But hey, you know, stuff happens in between. I've really been riding. Um, I honestly been riding like every day, almost every day since I got the bike. But today's video, man, um, I'm having a problem with the bike. So I'm about to go pick it up and I'm about to go take it out to Victorville. And we're just going to see what's wrong with it. Hopefully we can get it fixed. Hopefully get back riding. I've been wanting to do moto vlogs, but I just honestly just been lazy with that. Really the only thing that I need for it. Um, I got the camera, I got the mount. The only thing that I needed for it was just a mic. But honestly, just really just been lazy. There's no other words for that. But uh, today's video, man, y'all about to go with me. I'm about to go pick up the bike. I'm in the car right now, but I'm about to go get the truck. I got it parked outside of my apartment and I'm about to go, about to go pick up a trailer and we about to go pick up the bike and uh, we about to go out there. So uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys once we get out of here. I'm about to go get the truck, like I said, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm pulling up to the truck right now. This truck right here. Me and this truck been some things. I learned how to drive in this truck. When I first, when my pops told me, taught me how to drive, I ran it in some bushes. Like, me and this truck, we've been through a lot. But honestly, it's still pushing though. I don't know if you guys can see the mileage, but this truck got almost 200,000 miles on it. And like I said, it's still pushing, so. Yeah, man, we about to get into it. And I'll see you guys when we get to the place to get the rental. Like I said, man, me and this truck, we've been through some things. So kind of start back from the beginning. Um, I learned how to drive in this truck with my pops. When he took me to go drive the truck and he'll always say that it's my fault, but I'm gonna say that it's his cause I was a new driver. When I was driving, cause this was before that I did freeway. So I wasn't really, wasn't really comfortable on freeway. So we was gonna pull over just before we get to the freeway. So we on this road, he tells me to pull over and I'm just exaggerating. He tells him to pull over right there. But right there, I got a whole bunch of trees and shit. So I'm like, I can't, I'm not gonna make that. I'm doing 65. I mean, he was like, oh yes you will, boy, you will make that. So I was like, okay. So I pull over and I ran all into the side of the truck with the bushes and stuff and it scratched up the truck it wasn't it, it was funny though but he wasn't mad or anything so it was all good but yeah man this truck got some history and like i said it's still it's still pooping along so you know hey we're just gonna ride until the wheels fall off but i still got some time before i can make it to where i gotta go so i'm about to get this truck washed real quick at this little spot right here you get unlimited washes and yeah so let me run up in this thing real quick and I'll see y'all. I like this car wash though. It's cool because like it's a membership, which, you know, at first I'm like, I ain't gonna get no membership from no, from no car wash. But it's super convenient though because you can add as many cars as you want. You can come as many times as you want. And like, it's super convenient. So I'm like, I bet. So like I said, we're gonna get this thing washed. And then after that, I'm gonna head out to Moval, pick up the trailer, and then I'll see you guys when we get there. I'm on the way to Moval. 
Um, so just a real quick breakdown of the problem that I'm having with the bike is, so first and foremost, the bike is a 2016 Suzuki GSF 1250 Bandit. I don't know if you guys ever heard of those. Before I got the bike, I've never even heard of a Bandit. But anyway, so the bike I bought used, the problem that I'm having is that the motorcycle is idling very rough and when i'm riding it is starting to sputter like really bad like in every gear so doing a little research because when i first got the bike the bike came with the full exhaust it came with a power commander and while the power commander was on it was good so how i knew that it would work is when you would get ready to start the bike, as soon as you know, as soon as you hit the, the switch to start the bike, the power commander lights up. And then as soon as you start the bike, it lights up and then it goes through the, um, my bad, I thought that was a cop. It goes through the, the lights of whatever the RPM is. But I noticed recently that it wasn't working. And when I had rode it, it just was riding really rough. So I'm pretty sure, I hope it's something simple, but you know, I'm not really mechanically savvy when it comes to motorcycles, so I really don't wanna mess with anything. So I'm gonna take it to this mechanic and we gonna hopefully get it back. So we gonna see. So like I said, I'll see you guys when we get on the way. All right, cool. So I just made it to U-Haul. And as you can see, your boy got the mask on. Ain't trying to catch that Rona, know what I'm saying? But uh, let me go on and get this thing real quick. I ain't gonna record in there because you know, I don't know how businesses and stuff be like that, you know, people recording. So I'll see you guys once I get the, uh, the trailer. Y'all just made it to my mom's house about to get the motorcycle loaded onto this trailer so we can get it out to that mechanic so I can get my bike running right so I can get back riding again because I miss it. Man, it's been, it's been a long time. I, it's just been a week, but man, I swear it's it's really nothing like being out on two wheels, being out there riding, especially in traffic because you get so used to lane splitting, and then when you know you got to get back into the car, I'm gonna go this way because that car right there, I was gonna make a U turn, but. Like I was saying, when you get back into a car and get stuck in traffic, man, that shit sucks. Can't lane split. Looking at these other motorcycles, lane splitting while I'm sitting here stuck in traffic. But like I said, man, we about to get that taken care of. Your boy's about to be back. And once I get the bike back, I'm gonna make sure that I do a review on the bike because I know I haven't, I haven't done anything really with bike content because I just really I just haven't had the time off. So I'm gonna make sure I get that to y'all. And yeah. So I'm gonna get the bike loaded on real quick and I'll see y'all once we get rolling. Hopefully it starts. Like I said, it ain't been started up in a week. But I think it is.
All right, just like that, we got it strapped up, got it ready to go. Um, yeah, if y'all ain't seen the bike before, this is the bike. I posted it on my social media, but I haven't posted it on on uh, YouTube though. But this is the bike right here. And once I get it fixed, once I get back riding, I'll definitely do a review on it. Um, tell you about the features on it in case if you guys ain't never heard of no bandit. Got that 1250 thing. So yeah, so let me get out of here. Try to get it dropped off, get it back at a decent time. But yeah, that's the bike. So I'll see y'all once we get there. Hey y'all, so I'm about 30 minutes out. Truck's doing good. Not that, you know, I ain't got no, no doubts on the truck, but you know, this girl's old. She old, 2005. Got almost 200,000 miles on her. So she trucking along, but you know, hey, you know, so you got a baby to girl because she ain't how she used to be back in the day but nah she could she running she rolling uh yeah i'm about about 20 minutes out 30 minutes out from victorville yeah we cruising along yeah and the reason why i say you know the girl's truck's doing good is uh, a couple years ago when I had went to out to Bakersfield because I helped a buddy tow his car out there. So I had the auto transport trailer from U-Haul. I had his car and I had his front clip because he was doing a right hand drive conversion on his car. So I had that in the bed and we was cool. Everything was good. But just going up that hill when you get to Bakersfield, truck started overheating a little bit. Like I said, it was, everything was good. I think what it was is just a little too much weight. Um, and of course the mileage was high back, you know, it, it was over, definitely over a hundred thousand. I think at that time it had maybe 140, 150, I think. But yeah, I mean, it made it, it creeped up the hill. I had to turn the AC off, you know, going up the hill doing about 45, but this one, of course, is it, definitely not, not even close to the weight that it was. So it should be okay going up this hill. So. Hazard reported ahead. We making it. Like I said, I'll be there in about, in about 27 minutes of what GPS says. So about 30 minutes or something. So I can't remember if I mentioned it, but the problem that I have it on the bike is, so when I got the bike, the bike came as is, so it had a full exhaust, it had a, a fuel tuner on it, and a couple of other stuff that's on it. So the bike ran smooth, and I noticed maybe like a few weeks ago, is the bike was running really rough, and it was idling super rough. So then on Saturday, I took out, went out to Marina Valley from my house, and the bike was sputtering the entire way there. So then I looked up, took the seat off, and I realized that the, the tuner is not turning on um, when the bike is on. So I figured that it's probably something with that. So like I said, I don't know, man. We're gonna find out, we're gonna see what it is. But I need my bike back, man, because I miss it. I miss riding, I miss being out there. Being in traffic sucks. I hate not being able to lane split. But we gonna find out, we gonna see what it is. So like I said, man, I'll catch y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, so I'm already on the way back home. Um, I got the bike offloaded, got the bike dropped off. Um, I didn't want to record the simple fact that I just met dude. I didn't know how it would be, but he seems like a real cool dude. Definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, he says he's been working on bikes since 2000, so that's 20 years ago. So dropped it off at his house. Yeah, we're gonna get it fixed, man. So hopefully we get it back soon. Cause like I said, man, I've been wanting to ride for the longest. And hopefully it's just something minor that something's just disconnected or something. But like I said, man, I don't know. Um hopefully it's nothing major than what it is. Like I said, hopefully it's just something that's disconnected or something, but I don't know, man. We're gonna find out. But I'm gonna focus on driving. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Like I said, man, I definitely will start putting out vlogs here much more. Um, low key, man, I just been real lazy. To be real honest with you, I just been super lazy. And just, what you boy?
boy just been lazy, but anyway, man, I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And like I said, I appreciate y'all. I definitely will be getting more content out and I definitely will be doing motorcycle vlogs too. Um, I just need to get a mic for the GoPro. That way you guys can hear me when I'm talking because the GoPro is cool, but when you have it on the, on your helmet, it's just nothing but wind noise. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out and I'll see y'all.